This is How to Make It, and today we're at Medieval Times. Tori? Yes, hello, nice to meet, nice you. Nice to meet you, Katie. You are gonna be training me a little bit tonight. I'm Thank basically you. shadowing you. Yes. All night for the performance. We are going to be talking to the guests, getting them involved in the show a little, getting them really excited. Are we and a then part of, course, of this show? We are a part of the show. We have one part called Procession where we are down in the sand, getting our guests amped up and it's fun. Oh my it's gosh. Good. Wow. And how many people are coming out tonight for this performance? I think I heard 740. Wow, 740 about. people. So that's a good size is show. Is that a norm? That's like that's a good size show. You ever Our do more max than is that? about 1350. 1350. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here on a good night then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go put costumes yes. on. <laughs> Tori, what are the difficult things about this job beyond a normal Ooh. restaurant server without knights and horses and theater happening at the same time? We're bringing all 28 chickens, all 28 corns potatoes all at once, all in one shot. Oh my so gosh. it is physically demanding. And it's faster. It's fast. Are there any like pitfalls I should be avoiding? While I was training, I made it all the way out there, served my first two chickens, my arm gave out, and I dropped the entire tray. It happens. We've all made mistakes, especially sometimes it's dark in the arena, drink spill, oh my God. there are mistakes, but we know how to take care of it. We have seen it all. Confidence level waning. <laughs> it should be going up, knowing that I myself have dropped everything. What happens when people ask for silverware? What is silverware? That's your response? We are in the 11th century. If you can eat a cheeseburger, you can do it. It's fun, it's easy, it's great. So what does the welcome speech sound like? You're gonna wanna look at the two ends of the tables. If you have their attention, then you know you're good to go. Welcome to the castle. My name's Victoria and I'm gonna be your server today. As you were guessing, cheering on the black and white knight. Yay! You will also be cheering on the red knight and the yellow knight. We like everyone on this side. They're our friends, they're our allies. However, three ugly colors behind me, we do not like them. You're gonna wanna boo them the whole show. As you will see, there are no utensils at the table. It is the 11th century. You will be eating with these bad boys. It's easy, it's fun. You can do it, I promise. We also let them know that we will be down in procession during the show, so please do cheer us on. That might hurt your tip situation. Nope, not at all. If I'm giving so that intro. So that's the thing. It's our time to really get the guests like engaged yes. and ready for the show. Okay. This is a lot of people interaction. It There's is. a reason why I'm normally holed up in the kitchen, mm -hmm. not dealing with. And you have to stay in character oh the entire God. time. Oh my God. So my lords, my ladies, young squires, princess. What? Smiling. Positive body language. So it's just it. a constant stream We're of the us whole giving time. them everything. Whole time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hello, my lords and ladies. Welcome. What's our table number? 14. 14. 14. We're going to be right here to slide all the way in. Absolutely. <laughs> You're going to try and do the speech. Um, interject if I forget something, because I'm it. sure I will. Welcome everyone, I'm Katie. I'm gonna be your server tonight. Just to let you know, we are cheering for knights in all of these colors, yellow, red. What's our colors? Black and white. Yellow, black, black and white. white. <laughs> and then we ask that you do not bang together any of your plates, cups. It scares the horses. We don't want that to happen. And enjoy the tournament. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Yay. <laughs> Yay. So normally there are three shows in one day. I have never experienced anything like this. We only have about maybe 30 minutes to turn over for the next show. So we have to pre bus everything off of our table, get all the garbage, get all the cups, get everything away. So basically when the guests are getting up and leaving, our tables are clear, we're wiping, we're resetting, we're doing it again. I didn't even think about that. Yep. This is an unbelievable operation. Yep. Like I just, I am overwhelmed. And I can't imagine doing this alone. Look at the horses. <laughs> oh, 
I don't want Tori to catch me. <laughs> this shit is no joke. Like for real. We have been running. I have like so much respect for you. Times a hundred. Yeah. This is this not is work. not like regular restaurant service. Obviously, there was just a falcon flying around. Woo! Yeah, so the thing I noticed the most about this versus serving in a normal restaurant. Number one, everything is heavy. Like yeah. so much heavier than you would ever be carrying. You are bringing so much food out so fast and consecutively. It's just crazy to me. How many chickens did we serve tonight? Arena wide, I would say we were about 800. 800 or so. And is that at like three quarters capacity? Half? Pretty much. Okay. In this same situation, for this amount of people, if I were in the kitchen, I'd be like, oh, I'm good. Show me where the kitchen is. But being out here, you know, front of the house, part of the performance in an arena, you are amazing. So we're looking done for tonight. Yeah, so our station is pretty much done. We, we're pretty much done here, but we do have one last thing. We're gonna go muck out some stuff. So if you're gonna follow me, we're gonna go this way. If you liked this episode and you'd like to see more, click here. First time using a chainsaw. <laughs> we are in Astoria, Queens at Okamoto Studios, and I'm about to go meet my friend Shintaro, who's gonna show me how to make an ice bowl.